There was a, a certain king, uh, and on one occasion, one of his subjects came to him and said, Your Majesty, good deeds bring their own reward, and evil deeds their own punishment. And the king thought these sounded like wise words, and so he spoke more with the man, and found him to be a, a very wise and honest and honorable fellow. And so the man became a close friend of the king's. Now this king had a vizier who did not desire that other people be close friends of the king's, and so plotted against the king's friend. And he invited him for dinner, and at that dinner instructed his cook to put a great deal of garlic in the food. And after the meal, they went off to the royal court. And the vizier, before the court began, spoke to the king, and he said, Your Majesty, that man who you think is your friend, do you realize he tells everybody that your breath stinks? No, said the king. I don't believe that. Well, here's how you can test it. Call him over to you at court. Uh, tell him that you wish to speak uh, privily with him, to, to whisper in his ear, and see if he does not make gestures to protect himself from your bad breath. And so when the court occurred, the king called his friend over and he said, we wish to speak to you. And when he came close, his friend, having garlic upon his bread, he puts it in front of his mouth, is not natural. And at that, the king's face changed. And he said, come back in 10 minutes. I have a gift to give you. And later in the court, the king's friend came back, and his majesty gave him a sealed letter. And he said, take this to the captain of the guard, and he will give you a gift for me. And so the man, the man set off for the captain of the guard. And as it happened, on his way there, he encountered the vizier. And the vizier said, where are you going? And the man said, oh, his majesty gave me a gift. Uh, this, this letter will get it. Oh, said the vizier, that was very nice of him. Uh, I don't suppose you'd give me the gift. Well, said the king's friend, since you gave me such a generous feast last night, uh, well, sorry, tonight, or earlier tonight, I will happily give you the gift to the, the gift you asked. So he handed him the letter. And the vizier went off to the head of the king's guard and handed him the letter and said, this is instructions from his majesty for you to give me a gift. And the captain of the guard opened the letter. And he said, do you know what is in this? And the vizier said, no. Uh, execute the bearer, skin him, fill the skin with straw, and hang it from the ground. No, no, it wasn't, it wasn't. Well, later, uh, that, the next morning, uh, there was again a royal court. And the king vizier, for some reason, did not appear. Uh, but the king's friend appeared, which the king was a little surprised at. And the king said to him, uh, what happened with that gift I gave you? Oh, he said, I met your vizier while I was on the way to the captain of the guard. And since he had given me a very, very nice feast uh, a little while earlier, I wished to give him something in exchange. And so since he asked for it, I gave him the letter so that he could get the gift that you had intended for me. I hope your majesty doesn't mind. I see, said the king. And why is it that now when I'm speaking with you, you do not cover your mouth as you did last night in court? Oh, oh. Well, it was a very good feast that your vizier gave me, but it had a great deal of garlic, and I did not wish to offend you with that. I see, he said, you are correct. Good deeds bring their own reward, and evil deeds their own punishment.